A group of Gretna High School students pay tribute and show support to fallen officer Orozco. The students tell KETV Newswatch 7's Alex Hoffman they hope their display reminds everyone of the risks police officers take every single day. One after the other, vehicles draped with the American flag pull into the parking lot at Gretna High School Thursday. We have big hearts here at Gretna, and we really appreciate the way the cops act, and uh, we just appreciate what they do a lot. Junior Matt Dias says the gesture is in honor of fallen Omaha police officer Kerry Orozco, shot and killed Wednesday serving a felony warrant. It made me depressed, really. I was thinking about it, and it just made me, you know, angry for what. The guy had done. For sophomore Dylan Tomsu, it hits close to home. Both of his parents are Omaha police officers. It reminded me of what they do and the risks that they take. His dad badly injured in this crash near 50th and L Streets last February. Wednesday's fatal shooting brought back memories of that day for Dylan. It reminded me of when the principal came and got me and what I was thinking. When he got me. Tom Sue says he wants more people to appreciate the work officers like his parents do every day and hopes gestures like this display will help. Now, these students here at Gretna High School tell me that they normally do this for patriotic events like Memorial Day or Veterans Day, but as soon as they heard what happened to Officer Kerry Orozco on Wednesday, they knew that they had to do something special, thus, the flags. It honors all law enforcement, like Captain Raleigh Yost, who has served 34 years with the Sarpy County Sheriff's Office. Captain Yost says he is touched by the students' heartfelt compassion. It hits home right away. It's, it's, uh, we're all in this, uh, in the business of law enforcement, and we know that every day we go to work could be our last day to go to work. Officer Kerry Orozco knew that risk, making the ultimate sacrifice, dying in the line of duty for the safety of her community, and now. The community is thanking her. In Gretna, Alex Hoffman, KETV Newswatch 7. And staying in Sarpy County, the Sheriff's Office is taking donations for Carrie Orozco's three month old baby, Olivia Ruth. You can drop off items like diapers, baby food, clothing, really anything a newborn may need at these locations the Sarpy County Courthouse, the Sarpy County Sheriff's Office, and the Sarpy County Juvenile Center. And on the Omaha Police Department's Facebook page tonight, a chance for you to show your support if you'd like for Officer Orozco and her police family. They are asking people to wear blue tomorrow in her honor.